Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. Hey, this is a good day in Ohio, and I hope it's a good day where you're at as well. Here we are, we're in uh, Luke chapter 6 today, and we're going to do, uh, talk about maybe one of the hardest things to do as a, just as a human being. And then you add the whole Christian aspect of, uh, to this, uh, changing our lives to live like Christ, uh, uh, to uh, to walk in, in the Spirit. Um, now, Christ tells us that we're supposed to be different and how we react to adverse situation and and, and uh, uh, people who uh, can push our buttons, people who do not like us, people who hate us. And I think, um, as the Bible says, all who live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. I don't think there's any shortage of enemies that we all encounter, whether we realize that they're enemies or not. But we know we reach, we're, we all encounter hostile people. It says here in Luke chapter 6, in verse uh, 27, it says, But I say unto you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, and pray for those who spitefully use you. And so here, the Bible says several times, it says, number one, we are to love them, we are to bless them, and then we are to pray for them. We are to love them, we are to bless them, and we are to pray for them. And uh, boy, that's a hard uh, formula of, of events for all of us, that, that checklist of trying to help those who are trying to harm us or hurt us or malign our character or any get us fired, whatever else. You know, these things happen uh, to us, and this is how you and I are to respond. He says you are to love your enemies. Why? Because hatred uh, is not supposed to be part of our um, demeanor, how we, our character, how we are to live our lives. We are to love rather than to hate. We have to remember that there is a spiritual warfare going on. That uh, it's our, as Ephesians tells us, that we don't wrestle with flesh and blood. We, that there is a spiritual warfare that's taken place. And uh, we have to understand that there are forces going on that may propel this unsaved believer, un I mean, unsaved person, into uh, trying to harm us. And uh, what uh, negates that? Well, God gives us a formula for doing that. Number one, we are to love them. Love covers a multitude of sins. We go back to 1 Corinthians chapter 13, and we begin to look at it and begin to apply that to that situation. We are to love them. We are to bless them. How do we bless them? You know what? We help when we can help. We do when we can do. If there's a need, we try to fulfill that need. You know, if, we, um, if we're going out to lunch, you know, we ask if they want, uh, want, you, want them, oh, if they want you to pick up something for them for lunch, and you pick it up, you pay for it. Um, you know, if they have a, uh, you know, they bro broke it down on the side of the road, you stop and you change that tire, you wait there until someone comes and, and helps them along. We continue to build a bridge and build relationship. Uh, heap the, the, uh, the pan of coal on their head, as we're told elsewhere in scripture. We are to love them, we are to bless them, and we're going to pray for them. We're going to pray for them. Add them to your daily pray, prayers. Uh, pray for them. Maybe if it's uh, someone you work with, maybe it's someone you work for, you begin to pray for them. Pray for their families. Ask them how their family's doing. Ask them how life is going for them and, and begin to pray for them. God, knock down these walls. God, help me to build a bridge. Help this person to get saved. Help me to, to know what to say and when to say it. Does it mean that all enemies are going to turn friends? Does it mean that all hostile people are going to turn to Christ? No. But that's not our that's not our issue. That's the work of the Spirit. You and I are only supposed to do what? We're supposed to love them, bless them, and pray for them. Is there someone you need to love, bless, and pray for today in your life? And uh, why don't you make that a point? May, maybe you make that a point of uh, being intentional 
in 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 reaching out to them, building a bridge um, to them in your life, and see what God does. Let's see what God does. Let's just obey, whether we like to do it or not. Love, bless, pray. Amen. Amen. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying that God loves you, and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.